Hello, my name is Frank Arkholds. I'm the North Langley Community Director for the Greater Langley Chamber of Commerce. The Chamber is doing a series of videos with candidates in Langley City and Langley Township in the municipal election. And with us today is Paul Albrecht, who's running for re-election as a councillor in the city of Langley. Welcome, Paul. Thank you, Frank. Can you just tell us a little bit about yourself and why you're running again? Yeah, certainly. Uh, I'm Paul Albrecht, and uh, I'm committed to our community and its future. Um, I've lived with my wife in, in Langley City for over 27 years, and we've raised our four children there. Um, I was elected in 2014 as first-term councillor, and recently I was re-elected as a, um, uh, one of two Vancouver metro area reps on the Union of BC Municipalities Executive Board. And that's really important because it gives me a chance to provide a voice for those communities south of the Fraser River as well as Langley City. And we meet with uh, provincial ministers four times a year. So those relationships are really invaluable. Um, and of course, we all know the, the issues in the city, homelessness, um, public safety, um, housing, affordability, our downtown, our future vision, and uh, economic development. All of these require leadership and an ability to build relationships. I have the skills required to be a team player I am approachable, emotionally mature, and can build the necessary relationships to affect positive change in our community. So I'm looking for re-election on October 20th. Well, thank you very much. Now let me ask you a couple of questions. You bet. Partly based on what you said and partly on some other things the Chamber's drawn on. Um, transportation and transit, as you mentioned, are certainly important issues. And in this particular campaign, Partly because of what's happened in Surrey, there's been much more discussion over SkyTrain versus LRT for the rapid transit line that's scheduled to be built on Fraser Highway into Langley City. First off, what is your preference and what do you think uh, transit can do for Langley? Uh, well, first off, I'll say that uh, transit is going to be an immense economic boom uh, to our community. Uh, I see the whole, our whole downtown and our uh, uh, surrounding it, neighborhoods uh, really growing up and having uh, numerous potential for opportunity to develop and renew and refresh and grow. Uh, that said, my background is uh, almost 40 years in engineering, civil engineering, uh, regarding the, um, the technology for, for rapid transit. Um, I believe that SkyTrain is the, uh, the best solution. Uh, it moves most people more effectively, more efficiently, and in a timely manner. Uh, I believe the Fraser Highway line should be a spine for uh, the movement of people and goods, for that matter, um, to and from uh, all these communities. And uh, 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 that grade system would be fine for lateral speeding to that main artery or spine to connect the, the south of the Fraser. And of course, because the population the South Fraser area is growing so rapidly, as you referred to right. earlier. Uh, the type of transit system that is chosen does have a big impact on how people get around in the future. It certainly does. Uh, we see it on the north side of, of Fraser River everywhere. Uh, all these high density, the towers, the apartments, the, those types of complexes, and that can be the same way on the south of Fraser. Now, you also mentioned housing, right. and uh, housing has become a big issue, I think, throughout the metro area perhaps not as uh, big in Langley as in Vancouver for Burnaby, but still very important. Yep. And I know a lot of people in the city are renters, and they're concerned about affordability and affordable places to live. What can the city do to make uh, housing more affordable and make more affordable housing available? Right. Um, we've been doing a, a fairly decent job with new development and providing a, a number of different options available for people entering into the marketplace. Uh, but our, our uh, rental stock is aging. Uh, it does need to be replaced. So um, I see us uh, maybe implementing some of the tools that the province has afforded us uh, with some uh, rental, specific rental zoning, uh, protecting the existing rental stock as well as providing other rental opportunities. Um, the housing continuum from emergency shelter right through to single family homes on the nice big lot, uh, there's a number of uh, gaps in that continuum. Mm -hmm. And it's harder, I've got uh, four children that are starting to get into that 
uh, time in their life when they're looking at uh, uh, purchasing a property. And, and there are difficult times finding things that will fit for their, for their paycheck, for their income, for the location where they're working, those types of things. So um, there's some things that we can do to try to fill some of those gaps so that people can move through that succession of home ownership uh, from renting right through. Um, uh, there's opportunities. The, the provincial government has uh, identified a number of different, uh, let's say, avenues to, uh, to develop partnerships to uh, address some of our housing needs, whether it's seniors, whether it's supportive housing, whether it's um, first-time ownership. There's a number of different um, uh, initiatives that the provincial government has put out there, and I think it's a prime opportunity for us to, to jump at those, those chances. Okay, and uh, finally, uh, as a business organization, we're always concerned about taxation, and we want our businesses and our members to thrive. And businesses, of course, provide jobs, which are very important. Uh, what can you do as a member of Langley City Council should you be reelected to uh, improve and help the business community thrive in the city of Langley? Yeah, I, this is something that uh, is a is a real difficult challenge at the council table come budget time, uh, trying to find that right balance to to keep our level of service up with with uh, the taxation and trying to keep in mind that. You know, we seem to be taxing people to death, and, and we're certainly aware of that. Uh, we're all taxpayers ourselves, so it, it does affect us in our pocketbooks. That said, I think we could be more assertive or more aggressive in getting businesses uh, coming into our community, trying to uh, increase our tax base, uh, new development coming in, uh, the rapid transit. I think all these types of uh, factors will help us raise, uh, let's say, more dollars uh, in the in the confined area that we uh, that we exist in, and I think that will help alleviate some of those uh, abrupt uh, tax increases. Well, thank you very much, Paul. Well, thank you. I appreciate the opportunity.